Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to go over Google Maps for the Zoom. So the uh, Google Maps app for the Zoom is really, really cool. Um, it, it's, it's very similar to the Google Maps um, that you would find on the Android, but it takes advantage of the wider screen and a couple new features. Um, so one is one feature you can see here, you can twist around, you can rotate the angle, um, you can zoom in like you, you, you normally could on a touch screen. So, and it's very smooth, it's very transition, and uh, it, it, it's, it, it's very fun to work with. Okay, so cool and all, but uh, let's, uh, let's go move over to Boston. So how about Newberry Street? So, you know, like anything, you can type it in or you can talk it in. So let's, uh, let's see how accurate um, the talking in is. Newberry Street, Boston, Massachusetts. Pretty good. So here we are in Boston, Newberry Street. Let's zoom in. And you know, the the, the searching like that is uh, is really nice. It's not always accurate, but for the most part, uh, when saying in addresses, you can uh, get a fairly good way. Um, I mean, I've I've said navigate to a certain address and uh, my fr you know a friend's place, and it knew exactly the address and went. Um, so it, it's very, very useful, hands-free um, voice um, searching and querying. So let's go into one of the really cool features that I like. Let's turn off satellite view. And this goes into the, like this, this kind of road view. Um, and you can see this is Boston in 3D. And this is just really, really cool. You see the buildings and how exactly the whole and uh, entire area looks like mapped out in this in the, the real 3D shape and, and geographical locations of Boston itself. And it does it in a very um, quick manner because everything is printed as a vector. You can quickly scan over and um, it will quickly load um, the buildings up relatively fast. Um, very, very, very nice. And so let's, uh, as you can see, you can rotate and zoom in and zoom out just like you normally would and then another cool thing is to kind of get you even more into and feel if you hold your hands parallel or your fingers parallel you can zoom in or you, or you can change your angle so you can look go from a top view to an angled view and you know it's it really really is a very cool way of really familiarizing yourself with with the environment and really understanding the the city via the via the buildings and their shapes and sizes um, so uh, you can also see it shows you know the bus the transit food places we could we could search for um, a, a Starbucks let's uh, let's actually do it with voice let's keep on testing the voice Starbucks so here we go. It found a couple Starbucks nearby. And um, again, spot on accuracy with the voice. So, so it, it's very nice. Let's go, let's go look at the Starbucks. Um, let's go into Street View. So here we go, Street View. You pan around just like you would expect. Um, images load fairly well and very, very cool. You can see there's the Starbucks coffee. We zoom in a little, and and Street View has a has a nice way. You can actually go um, along the Street Views. There's this little guy in the left corner. You just hover that area and you move to that point, and it updates the the image for that location. And so it's a nice way of actually moving throughout Boston and actually having like a live image of that particular area. Um, and yeah, you can actually transition to see this is a different street, I can actually transition down that street now. So it, it's actually a really cool way to, to move through um, through metropolitan areas and other areas where the street view is available, which is, which is fairly many, many streets throughout the United States and other, and other countries. Um, okay, so let's uh, go back. Um, say we wanted to navigate to, you know, again, it's a very, very simple interface where, um, driving navigation, and then here we go. Keep driving. 
and there you go. And you will get navigations turn by turn, and be nap, and then you'll go all the way um, to Starbucks, which is quite a quite a while from here. But but again, Google Maps. It's this is a very cool application. Um, it's it's very nice for finding quick areas. You know, you you don't have to. You know, say you don't know the area that well, and you just want a quick place to um, to uh, eat. Say you're in the mood for Italian. You know what? We'll put the voice to test again. Italian. Okay. There we go. We got a bunch of cities. You know, we have how expensive they are. We have the the, the ratings, if they're open or not, and you know we can navigate to any single one of them. We can rate it ourselves. Um, it's it, it's just a very nice app um, to just really know the area around you, know the things that are happening, um, be able to navigate there and, and and see and see what it's all about. So I hope uh, this was useful for you. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview of Google Maps, and have a nice day.